Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2018 Freightliner M2 Gretsch GM40. This is a 38 passenger plus rear luggage, full executive bus, one of the nicest executive style shuttles you can buy on the market and only 50,000 miles. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. Alright, I got Eric behind the camera doing a uh, decent job today. Uh, first, thing, first thing I want to tell you, uh, powered by the Cummins ISB 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine rated at 300 horsepower. This thing can move. Let's check it out. Cummins ISB 6.7 liter, 300 horse, carb compliant. You can sell this baby into any state you want. You can even run it in California. All right, Eric's gonna give you a shot of underneath the engine area here as well. Show you what's going on. Bus at 50,000 miles, this thing does not have a whole lot of infirmities to point out. All right, gonna show you the front passenger side tire here. You got some Bridgestones on it. Nice, good tread on those. All right, so coming on inside, First thing I want to point out, this does have a plug style entry door and uh, Eric, if you'll stay back there, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So plug style door gives it a nice seam to it. And you can see that this step automatically comes out as well. Going down, we got bonded windows all the way down the sides. This bus is meant to turn heads. It's meant to look good, feel good. It's an executive style. You'll notice that right as we walk in. Uh, Gretsch makes a hell of a bus. Got some nice lines going along the side there. We'll demonstrate the underfloor storage here in a second. But for now, we are going to come on inside. So you saw that automatic step come out. That's one step for a total of a uh, three-step entry here. One, two, or kind of four. All right. Going to go over the driver area here first. All right, got your normal Freightliner M2 cockpit area here. Eric, if you can show them the mileage there. We got 50,006 miles. It just hit 50K. This thing has a ton of life left in it. Uh, going from left to right, got all your uh, cruise control here for those long nights on the road. Got your shifter here, uh, parking brake, uh, power windows for the co-pilot and for the driver. Right here does have uh, heated mirrors on the sides and then you can adjust those mirrors right over here. REI AM FM CD stereo does have a USB as well. Some other stuff here like a micro SD card can go in there and it does say it has Bluetooth as well. This does have a rear air ride suspension so you can't actually dump that and that's what that's for right there. A couple of 12 volt plugs here and then this is the climate controls for your driver and co-pilot. does have AC in the front here. A couple of cup holders, PA mic right there. And there we go. Up top here, got your uh, control panel here from Gretsch. Have a little uh, placard, shows you the uh, overall maximum clearance. Make sure you don't take this into any drive-throughs or anything. Uh, we got your door switch, reading lights, interior lights. These are these auxiliary uh, lights that you'll see on the side there. And then uh, we have your Pro Air digital climate controls here for AC and heat. I got the AC going right now, very easy to use. Temp up and down, blower speed. You can cycle between AC and heat or if you just want it off. <clears throat> All right, Eric's gonna show you the driver and the passenger seat upholstery. Looking fantastic. Just from what I'd expect of a bus of 50,000 miles, not a whole lot to point out. Got a beautiful front view window there. This bus has beautiful viewing area. All right, in the back here. So as you can see, executive style bus. You walk in, into this thing and you know you are riding in some high class machinery here. Uh, we got, I believe, these are uh, FMS Trieste seats. 
um, with a little bit of a different stitching than we're used to seeing, like the uh, diamond stitching. This kind of looks like the Chevron logo here. Uh, we got three point belts, headrests, and they also recline here as well. These are nice, comfortable seats. These are not your normal, standard, run of the mill Friedman featherweights. These are meant to look good, feel good, and play good, right here. Uh, up top, we have two ceiling mounted AC evaporators. The uh, condensers are on the roof as well. So if you're uh, in hot climates, uh, that's perfect. You're not picking up all that air from, uh, from off, the, uh, off the asphalt there. It's coming straight from up top. Keeps the system running better. Also uh, keeps it cooler, faster. All right, coming to the back, you'll see we got uh, overhead parcel racks on both sides. Nice sturdy ones. Um, it's not just your normal, you know, plywood with some netting. These are some high class, nice looking racks here. They got the curves to them. Kind of looks like a spaceship. Uh, the speakers here are all upgraded. These are Kenwood speakers underneath. Kind of reminds me of like an airplane, to be honest. Uh, we got speaker there, got your reading lights here, looking beautiful. Alright, coming all the way to the back, we got a rear row of five here. Again, all three point belts. We have a padded, kind of like a padded vinyl on the rear wall, and up top is like a black auto cloth. So, uh, Eric, if you can show them the floor here, it's got a wood look flooring on the bottom. Again, this is just meant to Riding style, high class here. Uh, at every row of seats on the wall, you can show them those, you got two USB ports and an outlet there as well. So people charging their laptops, phones, whatever you want. You got one at every row of seats there, enough power for all 38 passengers. Uh, before we go outside, I do want to point out up here, this does have a uh, a PA input on the B pillar here. This is in case, say you're doing tours or something and uh, the uh, tour guide's gonna sit back here with the people. There's a couple more mics up here. There's even a, a headset one, a handheld one. Plug it in right there, adjust the volume and then they can be with the uh, customers here and talk with them. So pretty cool, a lot of nice features on this. All right, that'll do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. So this is pretty cool. It's not something you typically see on shuttles. These underfloor storages generally are on motor coaches, school buses. Uh, seems nowadays we are, as we get to these bigger chassis, especially the Freightliner M2, uh, we are able to add these. I can get it here. I had a little problem with that. Hold on, I'll do this one first. Looks like we gotta adjust that one. But we can get it here. There we go. Okay, nice underfloor storage there. Got two bays for even more storage space. So you have the overhead luggage racks, you have underfloor storage, and you have a rear luggage area in the back. Tons and tons of storage. It's got the hydraulics on it for easy up and down. All right, Eric's gonna show you the rear passenger side duals here. Bridgestones as well. Good tread on those. And he's gonna give you a pan of the undercarriage. Not a rusty bus by any means. And in the back here, I'm gonna have Eric show you these airbags. This is what I was talking about. It does have a, uh, a lowering feature, that, that button that I pointed out in the driver area. It's got an air ride suspension in the rear that definitely uh, keeps the ride quality a lot better, especially over big bumps, or maybe, you know, on some of those highways, you get into those ruts there. Uh, it gives a nice smoother ride and for this rear luggage area, you can dump the rear down and make it easier to get in. All right, so on the back, we got your rear luggage area. You'll see these steps come out automatically. You can come on in here and you have tons of room. You can stack suitcases, bags, golf clubs, whatever you want, all the way to the ceiling. It's got a carpeted wall in the back. And uh, a lot of times these uh, right by the door here, this trim here gets pretty messed up from people throwing bags in or around here. You'll see it's, I mean, there's a few little scratches, but it's not all torn up or anything like that. So definitely indicative of a vehicle with 50,000 miles. <clears throat> all right, coming around the side, these corners tend to be where you'll see the most damage on buses like this, especially of this length, people backing into things. Nothing really to point out here. Looks great going all the way up and down. Got the beautiful Gretsch lines here. 
When you pull up to the curb in this thing, you're gonna turn some heads. It looks beautiful. Give them another shot of the bonded windows there, Eric, if you can. If you can show them that shuttle down there, that's your normal shuttle bus style windows. Right there, just those tour style, you'll see you've got gaps in between them. It's just a square. These bonded windows, it's just for looks, and they sure do look good. It gives a nice seamless look to it. Definitely makes them pop. Uh, Eric's gonna show you the rear driver side duels here. Another pan of underneath. I don't think I mentioned this in the first couple tires that we looked at. It's got Alcoa uh, rims on it here as well. Alcoa's all the way around. Nice name brand. Nice and shiny. All right, coming on up to the driver area. This does, we're going to call this a running board. It's kind of like a little pat, pat little two-step entry here. But uh, you got a grab rail here as well. So you got two steps for your driver to get in. Nice sturdy grab rail to get all the way up. And uh, we also have a master switch right here. And that cuts off all the power to everything in the bus. You hit that when you're, uh, when you're done for the day to make sure no lights are left on or anything. So your bus starts in the morning. Always nice to have that. And last but not least, we have your front driver side tire. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099, visit us at nwbus.com, or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thanks for watching.